Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's No Bull Beer Reviews. Um, today I have the second iteration of um, the first bottle release from Resident Culture. So this one is called Secret Feelings. Um, the tag right here, you probably can't see it on there, but it says uh, Wine Yeast. So I explained it in my last review, but if this is the uh, first one that you read, I'll go over it again so, or watch um, I'll go over it again. So what they did was they made a uh, They fermented the Saison with uh, clean Saison yeast and <clears throat> then they put it in wine barrels for four months with a mixed culture and then to bottle for a minute, they split the batch in half and they put half of it or half of it got the same mixed culture to do the, um, the carbonation to, uh, to carbonate the bottles for, I guess, the, I don't even know the second one for tertiary fermentation, fermentation. And then, um, the other half, they use wine yeast instead of the mixed culture. So this, I, I don't know what specific wine yeast it was. I don't think they even said that. Um, but this is the uh, the wine yeast one. I already did a review of the uh, mixed culture one, and it was freaking awesome. So <clears throat> I'm guessing this one's probably going to be like less fruity and more dry. I, I have no idea. Um... But, it, I mean, it was in red wine barrels. I don't know if it was some, like, I don't know. I don't know about all the different um, wine yeast, so I won't even comment on that. But, let's crack this open and see what we got. It's a nice hiss like the other one, but it did, oh, oh, yeah. It's building, the other one was pretty carbonated, but it didn't, gosh, it just, uh, when I poured it, it was pretty carbonated. That was a nice hiss, and it started building a little bit, but it's not gushing by any means, which is good. Well, that's interesting. I, will, I, I guess it makes sense because the difference, you know, between the yeast wasn't... Uh, part of this, the first or secondary fermentation, it was just in the bottle, so that, that would definitely affect the, um, the carbonation, because the first one was way more carbonated than this, and not that this is under carbonated, but, uh, the first one, like, if I poured it like I had, it would have, like, the head would be maybe even going over the glass, uh, which is interesting, um, so... We'll see. Sorry, they're trying to get that in there a little bit. <clears throat> um, so as you can, I mean, it looks pretty much the same as the other one. It's um, slightly cloudy, um, darker golden color, or darker hay color, gold, close to gold. Um, with It had about a finger's worth of white head, which is since dissipated. Hmm. I feel like this one, I'm getting more, I mean, the other one was definitely oaky, but it seems like this one, I'm getting even more oak in it. Uh, it also doesn't have, like, as much of a citrusy character as the other one did, which that doesn't surprise me, given the wine yeast. I don't know, it just seems like this one's going to be a lot more dry all around, which I would have originally expected anyways. Wow. It's so much different than the other one. It's really interesting. Um... I'm just, and I had the other one like an hour ago, I, you know, I had like one beer in between to just clean, cleanse my palate, and then I went back to this one. 
This is so much different. Um, this one's... Like, the acidity level was significantly less. Not that the other one had a, a ton of acidity at all. Um, it wasn't like a sour beer. I mean, it, had, it was a little tart, but it wasn't like a sour beer. Um, but the acidity... It, acidity level on this is definitely less than the other one um there's a lot more of what i describe and like i had some in the brew gentleman um Miz and rose collection saisons is like some of that deep oaky character to me almost reminds me of like popcorn which i don't get why that is just something that runs through my head but i'm getting that out of this It's interesting because I, the description of this said like significantly or vigorously hopped with, um, I don't remember, Styrian hops, I can't remember what the name of them were. They weren't a hop that I assumed, that, or not assumed, but that I knew of that had like high alpha acids that you would use for an IPA or something. So I, I didn't really think much of it, but I feel like the hops come through in this one way more than the mixed culture one. Um, but not in, in a bitter, in a bitter way at all, and not in, like, a, a juicy IPA way, but just in, like, a, a, it's providing, like, this big floral bouquet, um, that I didn't get out of the other one. It's really mashing my brain now because I I I love this one too. I I don't know which one I like better, which you know in something like this where they took that and then the only difference was that they were bottle conditioned with different yeast. If you don't know which one you like better, one would assume that they're pretty much the same, but they're excuse me, in my opinion they're significantly different. Um I just don't know which which I like better. I guess I would call this one more dry just because it doesn't have that acidity, but and it's not quite as like fruity. I guess that makes it more dry, but like sometimes I associate uh, carbonation with dryness too, and this one's like way less carbonated. Than the other one. And it's not under carbonated. Just the other one was very, very carbonated. Uh, so it's it's odd to me because I, I'm actually picking, I'm actually like thinking that this one's actually sweeter. That's what I'm perceiving. But it really doesn't make any sense because with wine yeast, I would assume that it would be drier. So like the flavors are more dry, but the I feel like there's actual there's probably more residual sweetness in this. And the other one, or at least that's what I'm perceiving. I guess it's just because of the carbonation. It's very, um, it's very interesting that I'm. That's what I'm picking up because I, I know that there's a good chance that that's completely wrong and it doesn't make any sense. And I would like to see like some um, chemistry behind these beers, you know. But I don't have the technology to do that. Uh, hmm. This really just my, reminds me of, like, the whole White Labs place where, like, they might make the same beer. And they just use different yeast, and you can really tell with it. Because I think a lot of people don't understand that. Like, it's hard to judge things batch to batch to batch, you know, even if they would use different yeast because they're batch to batch to batch. Like, there's not many breweries that literally take the exact wort and in this case i mean they took a completely it wasn't even just the wort completely basically fermented beer and it was just the bottle conditioning of it was different and you the flavors in these are significantly different i, I was going to say drastically but i think it's a little overkill i don't know if i would say drastically but they're significantly different um Aside from the acidity, I mean, that's obvious. The mixed culture one's going to have more acidity, but just the, the flavor profile is definitely not the same either. Uh, 
I was actually kind of hoping that this was going to be similar to the other one, but not quite as good. So I was just going to buy more of the other one. But now I want to buy more of both to see how if they split apart more with time or if they merge more or they kind of just stay the same road, you know. So this is definitely a, uh, on my scale of buy, drink, dump, this is absolutely a buy, just like the other one was. I'm definitely gonna have to get more of this. So if I if I'm if I get a Charlotte tomorrow, I'm definitely gonna go there. They they had some left today, so I'm hoping it lasted the day. It might not have given the cane release, but I'm hoping it did. If it did, I'm probably gonna pick up a couple more bottles each because uh, they're both really really nice stuff. So yeah, that's all I got in this guy. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.